Question 3. Tan and J had a sum of money. Three quarter of Tan's money is equal to two fifth of J's money. J had $49 more than Tan. How much did they have all together? There are two ways to solve this. Uh, one was to be draw the model out whereby the three units of tons is equal to two units of J's. You can draw it out, extend the model and do the comparison or the shortcut is, so I'm going to teach you the trick. Whenever a question says a fraction is equal to another fraction, step one, change them to the same numerator, which means what is the same numerator for 3 and 2? 6, isn't it? That's the common uh, multiple, first common multiple. So 3 quarter will become 6 out of 8. 2 fifth will become 6 out of 15. All right, equivalent fraction. What happens after they had the same numerator? We look at their denominator. So the denominator will represent their individual total, which means Tan has 8 units in total. J had 15 units in total. All right, this trick applies to all questions, regardless it's money, mass, or any other number of things that they can be mentioning. As long as, number one, the question states a fraction is equal to another fraction. Number two, you will make their numerator the same, all right, by changing to their own, you know, by changing to its equivalent fraction. Step three, their denominator represents their own total. Hence, tan. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to cut it out. I'm just going to do a very simple model. Tan has 8 units. J. Okay, something like this. 15 units. Okay. So, this must be the difference of $49. 7 units, the difference, right, 15 minus 8 units, though, so 7 units is equal to $49, 1 unit, 49 divided by 7 will give you $7. How much did they have all together? They have 23 units. So amount of money they had all together. Which is, this is for one unit, they have 23 in total. That would be 140 plus 21, $161.